Hey everybody, welcome back to Innocent Sin. Uh, you ready to see this game take the piss? Like Johnny's frame rate? <laughs> Your frame rate. Oh yeah, my frame rate. The capture card <laughs> shot the bed at that point, oh, I guess. Fuck you, Tatsuya. Right? Gets shocked in the knees and blows up. Your ankles have got to be hurting, boy. What ankles? You wear shoes. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> here comes a real piss taker. Do you remember the uh, in the quiche where it was talking about the aliens? Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, because we got to remember like the the thing that summons the Balba in the first place. I mean, what, I mean, what is it? Can we, can Rumors. We, can we like break it down? Like yeah. what it's supposed to be? It's a rumor ship. It's a rumor ship that from Mayans and alien technology. Well, we're about to meet the other half of that. Yeah, not exactly what I was expecting to, but on the other hand, hooray, it's not fucking gold. I like this track. This though. sounds like spy movie music. It is. Yeah. Holy shit, he was actually right. <laughs> that would be my thoughts. This must be the chamber where the Mayan slumber. Oh boy. So she's having a big boner right now because she's the tabloid article writer, right? Yeah, she's yeah. The, she, yeah, she's having a lady boner. Yeah, femme boner, <laughs> femme boner, femme boner. And in the meanwhile, we just found aliens. Okay, remember the scene from Judge Dredd? No, the copies don't make it. Oh boy, this also, is how wild. did she get here? <laughs> she was yanked down here. Was she yanked down here? The Narada Stone. Remember uh, the thing she's that's, always looking at? Yeah, okay. When you say that out loud, I do remember that. Hey, Tatsuya has no idea what the process of this scene. What do you think, Zippo? Burn it all. And for once, I agree. <laughs> all right. You've written your last newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, you nuts. Oh, Ooh, her hair just went down. She went insane. Serves her right? What does she do? Or else... The Idelian. <laughs> the, uh, I, what, did she just name a land after herself? No, the Idelian land is basically the end goal for Enla Quiche. Okay. But her last name is Ideal. <laughs> that's because... Uh, no, her, no, that's the nickname they gave her. Okay. And Tatsuya Sudo was the other guy who um, wrote it. So basically, this book was drawn up by a teacher, an arsonist, and a wacko. I'll leave it to you to figure out which of the three is which. And which is kind of weird, because I'm kind of wondering now at this point how much of this falls into, like, whether or not her and, her and June's father actually had an affair with each other, or whether or not she's the victim of a rumor like Tatsuya was. Mm. Before we can find that thought, aliens. Time to fight Devo. Right? We get a remix of the uh, Sky Museum theme, too. What is their hand motion? Oh my god, are they doing the Vulcan peace sign? Yes. They're doing the Vulcan greet. Yeah, yeah. they are. <laughs> 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 Captain's log. Slap. <laughs> we have just taught the woman the alternative answer for what monks... We just... No, I'm sorry. We just taught the earthling what is the alternative sound for a one hand clapping. <laughs> by the by, their gimmick, they're clone rangers of you guys. And they're hungry. Do you feel that? No. They have the same power of the stars that we do. What does that mean? They they're personas. Persona? Something yeah. about there being five of them seems like a bad sign. Careful, guy. So, as you can no doubt tell, they each have your weaknesses and strengths. So, and because they all look the same, it's going to be near impossible to easily keep track of them. All so, right. what is the way to go about it? Answer. You don't. <laughs> Physical's the way to go on this one. Or, hit them with an element they're not going to... You know for a fact... They can't negate. They can't do anything against. All right. Question then: Is their weaknesses determined as the battle starts, or does it change when you change in battle? It did, no. It's what it's whatever your ultimate personas are. In other words, if Tatsuya's got um, a, since Tatsuya's is Apollo. Yeah. There, one of them is weak to water and ice magic, I believe. Okay. So what if you changed Apollo in the middle of the battle? It won't matter. They have the powers you do in terms of your ultimate persona. So it always up to date with your current weaknesses and strengths. No. It whatever. <laughs> Let me put it to you like this. Imagine like each of them fighting yourself with your ultimate personas. Yeah. In other words, one of them is going to be weak. One of them is going to be fighting as if I'm fighting with uh, 
One of them is going to be fighting as if he's got Apollo equipped. Another is going to be fighting if he has Hades equipped. Another is going to be fighting if he has Artemis equipped, like that. Okay, okay. So they have the same weaknesses if the character was using the Ultimate Persona. No, they'll have the same weaknesses. They'll have the, they'll have the same weaknesses as the Ultimate Persona. Yeah. They're basically fighting Ultimate Persona. So, so yes. <laughs> no, you, no. The way you said it was is that um, they, if they're going to keep changing their um weaknesses and strengths. Well, because like, you said because obviously the aliens are a reflection of you. Yeah, but at the same time, no, at the same time, a reflection of you. In other words, they are mimicking your character's stats along with Asteroid Bomb, which as fucking hurts. Is. Not as is. They always, they, when I say they mimic their characters, in other yeah. words, they're mimicking you as if you're fighting with your ultimate persona. Okay. So, in other words, one of them is always going to be casting fire magic, one of them is always going to be casting Okay, Earth. so they have set weaknesses. Yes. Okay. It's set weaknesses. Okay. They're just, they're, they're just basically based off of, they're just basically, um. Conceptually, they're based off of the five characters. Wielding their but ultimate they, personas. Yeah, w wielding their ultimate personas. Okay. Except they don't really summon a persona, they just cast spells. And in fact, they cast dark variants of them. Uh, one of them in particular casts the, the June doppelganger, so to speak. It casts the nasty ass um, terror, f not terror fortune. Uh, f well done. I forgot what the fuck. <laughs> I forgot the name of the fucking spell. He just cast a nightmare wheel or something like that. I don't know. It's got a dark sounding name to it, but ultimately it's like dark terror fortune or some shit like that. So ultimately, again, you just you don't even I don't even bother like worrying about one of them reflecting off of me because I just know for a fact that I'm just gonna hit them all eventually. And as long as my element we, as long as my element isn't hitting them, they're fine. Of course, that one asshole there is resisting all magic, so it's gonna hit me no matter what. Asteroid bomb is just single target almighty damage where he's they throw a rock, which is kind of comical in a way. One wasn't even looking at you. Ow! Well, I thought it was almighty. Maybe just be physical. No, it's almighty. It is almighty. And the only reason why Kichi got away from it is because he negates um. That hurts Tatsuya the most. Oh yeah, because they threw all the rocks at him. So rather than like try to go for the uh, crazy ass route with it, what I'm gonna try to do is get Tatsuya to set up on um. Tarukaja, and then I'm gonna use Deathbound and Blade of Fury with the two of the with the two guys to to not only hit all of them, but I can avoid hit the one that's reflecting all my magic. Unfortunately, until then, I kind of have to make do with what I got otherwise. Thankfully, Artemis, um... And here's where I'm, like, dwelling, dwelling for a minute. I'm like, can I really... I should go for this buff. This way, like, all of them are now powered up with attack buffs. And I can have Ikichi just go right ahead with the death bounce. Sweet! My thoughts exactly. <laughs> They're also using the uh, Freda sound effect. Not uh, Freda. Um, the, in uh, Persona 1, there was the demon Tremlin, which just shrieked like that. They're reusing the sound clips for that. Give myself a little pep up. And then Diamond Dust. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> All right. <laughs> Something that steps on thumbtacks. Yeah, I guess the reflex status would Bloody really Divorce, the Inference of Bloody Honeymoon. Water and dark damage. It's to kill if you can't negate it. Or in this case, just charm me. Or make me uh, confused. God, look at that. That's a lot of shit trying to happen to you at once. <laughs> right? I love how they've managed to act out just enough of a voice to utter out the phrase of the word. Dark foamy lover kind of sucks to be hit with, though, because that's charm, I believe. <laughs> and instead, just turned into a gun. Terror Fortune, that was the name of it. Weak, <laughs> one point of damage. Okay. Well, that means you're susceptible to it. I know. Huh. I'm just saying. I'm just laughing at the fact <laughs> that it was weak and only did one damage. Eclipse Mirror. That sucks. That's almighty and dark if it kill. And if I believe if the dark element hits you, it will kill. Meanwhile, it's just two stage. Unfortunately for me, Tatsuya is fucking uh, confu panicked, so I can't really do shit with him just yet. So now I have to re we have to rethink my turn ordering a bit here. So that I can get rid of the um, negative statuses. And it's here I realize I think I ran out. <laughs> and now the battle gets interesting. Because now it's like, uh-oh. 
Oh, I have to hope like now is Tatsuya doesn't decide to go physical, otherwise I'm in deep shit. Sleep Charm and Illusion. At least I can cure Ginkgo, but I can't do anything about the dizziness, about his um confusion. Thunderous Fury was just unlocked. That's great for me because now it's not only a thunder attack to help me against the machine monsters in the dungeon. I have a sword attack to go with it too, which, which doubles off on the physical aspects. Done that, Lisa. Sweet. One sixty four and nine eighty eight. That that's probably about like two hundred forty damage a pop. It's like you do one long slap and hits all five faces at once. <laughs> I like the I like the artwork of that. I imagine that's what it would look like in the conceptual faces of Bijaman. Just takes the giant thing and just goes whack just across goes all five full, heads. Full Asura priest. <laughs> Case in point here, slap. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, by going physical, you hit the one that's reflecting all the magic against you, which is a pain in the ass. To, which is a great thing to avoid anyway. Out, rock. I just love how abrupt that is, though. Like, yeah, I'm hitting you. Boink, bang. <laughs> it's like the Skull Kid just cut his shit. <laughs> Eclipse Mirror? Uh, Almighty and Dark. Thankfully, I think it's just a two-stage attack. Yeah, look at my balls. Since I realized that um, I use Matara Kacha, I may as well just use Wing Flap with... um. I may as well just use the make the wing flap on um the enemies. Just cut out the middle man. <laughs> cut out the middle man. <laughs> yeah, they all reflect or negate. They all neglect. They all reflect or negate. I may as well cut out the reflect and negation. And flap my wings. One, two, three, four, and five. Keep it nice and simple. Man, I wish these things were reflective off your current HP. <laughs> right? <laughs> well, that one, wow. Yeah, that's because I just decided to cut the shit and cut him with a sword. By the by, if I really, sh if I was thinking ahead of time in this battle, I could have combined one of their other magic attacks with the uh, Blade of Fury and done the Blade of Fury EX move, which would have really fucking hurt, but I'm too worried about missing with the uh, element in question and getting it reflected back at me. So that's why I'm keeping it simple with them. Nope. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I was hoping he would have hit my too. Like, let me try. Nope, that doesn't work. Ow. <laughs> it does sound pretty crunchy. Well, it's like I'm going to get in the head with a fucking rock. <laughs> Rocks fall, Tatsuya cries. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't die, he just cries. Oh, yeah, I mean, if a rock fell and hit me in the head, I'd be crying. <laughs> I just had to take the time Happened here to... me once. Rock fell and hit you in the head? No, I was, someone threw a rock at me. Ow. It's about the size of a softball. I would have fucking turned down a rock yeah. and bludgeoned her head in. That kid was a piece of shit. No, that happened a long time ago. I still would have hit him. When I was in elementary school. I still would have gone back and hit him with a rock. I <laughs> summoned Matt Familiar. Right. Like, I don't know who this guy is. <laughs> he looks really old and hairy. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> I think I'm going to call the police. <laughs> right? So I decided to try it out just for the hell of it, and realizing I probably put Tatsuya in grave danger here with this, but let's see what I can hit with. 445, that's like 600 damage. You just got rid of two of them. <laughs> that was 600, Three. 800 damage. And I'm like, okay, let me just live long enough to try Can't that again. You. Why don't you start off with that? <laughs> Why don't yeah, it's kind of, kind of a one note. I can only use it once. <laughs> <laughs> Drama reserving handicaps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? I like to give an asshole in suspense, oh, don't I? Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Next time I start with that asshole. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> like 30 years from now, we'll redo the Innocent Sin commentary because one of us said fart knocker. And in 30 years' time... <laughs> Fart knocker becomes a racist slur, so we can't have it in the old commentary, so we'll redo it anyway. And then I'll slap you in the head and you do that fucking combination of shit from the start. And then I don't do it. Just yeah, you don't. Know, yeah. No fart knocker. Matt, that's racist. I forgot the fart nillions are really kind of annoyed about that since we made contact with them. <laughs> fart nillions. <laughs> He's not my real father. Oh, fuck. Okay, he was telling you belong in Mori, motherfucker.
right? So basically, that shat, that demon, or not demon, June's father is not really his father. The real June's father fell and died in a grisly death in the clock tower. People come to know themselves through others. Our ego and consciousness depend on the people around us. And that's why one of them chose to manipulate them, manipulate themselves as a reflection of June's father. Uh, I agree on ego. Consciousness, though, I think it's more of a gray area. Consciousness is a gray area. That's and, and uh, Ego, definitely. Because right. your ego is defined by those around you. Right. The Jungian model isn't exactly foolproof either, which is a beautiful thing about it when it comes... Which I think is really a beautiful thing, because he only could work off of what he knew at the time. And we've made discoveries since then. It's a good backbone, but it's not always end-all, be-all. Is the real enemy who's making rumors come true? Well, why? Eh. Maybe faster ask him in person. And we're almost there. Yeah, we're almost done, folks. This is uh, the... We're, we only got two parts left after this, and it... Spoiler warning, it's nothing but boss battles. Yep. Uh, so, well, I'm not sure if this part that makes sense. <laughs> no, I don't think it is just yet. But uh, oh, what an adventure. Tell me about it. Mainly these are delays. Yeah. One of our longest Let's Plays. Well, all Unintentionally. <laughs> Actually, I think it, this may have been our longest gap uh, between parts. Because uh, I can't think. No, because Kingdom Hearts 2, we did intentionally. Yeah. We did 50 parts of that. And we stopped halfway because we were like, this is going to be a long game. Uh, but this one was unintentional. Should happen. You know. You know what, though? I'm glad they're back. Because there is something about the weekend RPG that I find very comforting. You know, wake up on a Saturday morning, see the part upload it. I got something to watch or listen to while I'm eating a bowl of cereal. And it's also making dick jokes. And just making dick jokes. Did you say fart knocker? Ah, <laughs> uh, damn it. Now we got to flag him for racism. Yeah. <laughs> Who the fuck's a fart and alien? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere out there in the universe, someone's illegally broadcasting this on. Oh, shit. That's it. On the Persona Echo. That means it's the end game, folks. Yep. We've come so far. It's so close. I can only drag this out before the part ends. I think I don't. we don't stop until the, you, you save the game. Right. Yeah, but you can tell you're getting ready for the... Uh, yeah, here we are. We're saving the game now. So, yeah. That's why I'm checking the settings. Starting next weekend, we're, we're, there, we're, we're starting a finale. Persona 2, Innocence In. Right. Uh, Saturday we'll have will to cock-lock it then. Yeah, Saturday will be the first boss. Saturday, Sunday will be the finale. And, and they're both going to be beefers. So Big, fat beefers. Get yourself comfy. Because we've got a lot of cuts. And a coffee. And a coffee. Yeah, like maybe two mugs. Just to be safe. But we'll catch you guys next time. More Persona 2, Innocence In. See you then.